He Loves Without Measure. Written by Ancidas. It was a bit unusual, but three times in one day I heard the same song. In the early afternoon I attended him performance at a home for the elderly. As part of her prayer at the end of our time together, Willie, one of the residents, said, Sing with me Jesus loves me. In the evening, I attended a gathering with young people who sang it while pounding out, the beat, with their hands and feet. Later that evening, I received a text message on my phone with an audio recording of my two and a half years old grandness with a sweet little voice, singing, I am weak, but he is strong. People in their 90s, teenagers and a toddler all sang that song that day. After hearing that simple song three times, I began to think the Lord might be telling me something. Actually, he gave us all this message long ago, I love you. We read in John 19 that he allowed people to put a crown of thorns on his head, mock him, strike him, strip him and crucify him, verse 1 to 6. He had the power to stop them, but he said very little, verse 11. He did it all for love's sake, to pay for our sins, and to rescue us from punishment. How much does God love us? Jesus spread out his arms and was nailed to the cross. He died for us, then rose again. That's a precious fact for young and old. Jesus loves me. This I know, for the Bible tells me so, little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. The truest measure of God's love is that he loves without measure. Bernard of Clairvaux. John 19 verses 17 to 18 and he, bearing his cross, went out to a place called the place of a skull, which is called in Hebrew, Golgotha, where they crucified him, 